Hey guys, it's me, Butch Hartman. How you doing? Thanks for watching my channel this week. This week I'll be drawing the Danny Phantom characters as if they were 10 years older. Check it out. I'm going ghost! Andy, that's the cool thing about your powers, man. There's no downside. Give me five. Ah! I'm okay! First I'll start off by drawing everyone's favorite tech nerd. Tucker Foley. It was funny when I was first creating Tucker, it was back in the days when the movie Rush Hour was out. Chris Tucker was a star of Rush Hour, so we thought, okay, Tucker could be his first name. I always loved Eddie Murphy in the Beverly Hills Cop movies, and his name was Axel Foley. So we took Axel Foley's last name and combined it with Chris Tucker, so that's where Tucker Foley came from. Now it's time to update him a little bit. Start off by giving him more of an updated hairstyle, updated glasses, and even an updated hat, maybe more of a Rasta Safarian hat kind of thing. Sort of dreads that stick out from his hat and a little soul patch of hair under his lip there. Of course, the hoodie. And of course, he's got a much more updated phone. I added a presidential pin because he was the mayor of Amity Park at the end of Phantom Planet. So I figure, hey, maybe he's not running for president. Maybe he works for the president. You know, another route for the character of Tucker, I was thinking as I was drawing all these, uh, I think he'd be a modern day Steve Jobs. I think he's so smart and invents so many things. I think Tucker is a huge part of either the Apple Corporation or of... Uh, or the Foley Corporation. Now, I thought I'd start off with giving Tucker some tech this time. If Tucker's gonna help Danny fight ghosts, he's gonna have a drone, because he's gonna wanna fly like Danny. Instead of giving him glasses, I gave him some goggles that are gonna be kinda high tech. We could see like targeting devices inside the goggles that help him control the drone with his own eyes, maybe. With this new design of Tucker, I've completely changed his clothing colors, as you can see. I did incorporate the old colors from the old Tucker into his hat. The uh, green pants, the yellow shirt, and the red cap are all incorporated into this new Rasta hat. Old Tucker enthusiasts, there are the colors for old Tucker right in there. Goth haiku. Despair without end. There's a ghost. Utter blackness. Nothingness. There's a ghost. <clears throat> Dora is a ghost. The character of Sam was tricky because we wanted a girl in the show. And we wanted to, we almost, at the very beginning, I thought I wanted to give her a psychic power. We were gonna go in with a psychic power where she could like mentally talk to Danny all the time. But I'm not a big fan of psychic, so we got rid of that idea really quick. We decided to make her gothy, because back when Danny Phantom was created, goths were very big. They were, they were all over the place. They were sort of the hipster of the early 2000s. They don't take everything for face value. And then Sam would be someone who would actually believe in these ghosts that Danny was fighting. So we thought that'd be kind of a cool aspect of her character. Same thing with Tucker. I'm gonna just do a few experimental drawings of Sam here. I'm gonna age her up 10 years and see how that feels. I've never drawn her 10 years older, so let's see what happens. So this version here of Sam, I thought Sam is sort of Danny's sidekick. A lot of the movies that have come out lately, a lot of the comic book based movies lately that have come out, you know, uh, one of my favorites is Captain America Winter Soldier. I love the Avengers movies and I thought It'd be pretty cool if Danny Phantom was basically Captain America, Sam would probably be Black Widow. So I decided to give Sam kind of a uniform, like a Black Widow crime fighter outfit, where she'd help Danny fight ghosts with her uh, arsenal of awesome guns and machinery. By this time, Danny and Sam and Tucker have been fighting ghosts about 10 years, so they really know what they're doing by this point. We're gonna try another version of Sam, and we're gonna try and update her into a more hipster vibe, because again, her clothes, just like Tucker's, are a little more early 2000s, kind of 1990s. Now this is sort of Sam, just kind of, uh, I guess, in regular everyday life, 10 years older. Uh, put her top not coming through her hat. I do like this version, but I prefer the superhero one a little more. And for this version of Sam, I was just having fun and goofing around and still experimenting. I decided to keep old Sam, age her up a little bit, and add a jacket. And now I thought I'd uh, really go to town and kind of give her the full-fledged superhero thing and give her some uh, ghost fighting armor and just really see what she would look like if she really, really took it seriously and became kind of a Lara Croft sort of a uh, ghost fighting gal. Now here is Sam. It's kind of a mix of a bunch of versions of Sam. It's kind of the Lara Croft meets the Black Widow meets uh, Sam 10 years older. And I was just having so much fun, I decided to really uh, do an iPad sketch here on the iPad Pro. I used the uh, Procreate program, which replays your drawings back. She's got weaponry, she's got Maddie Fenton's goggles on her head. I took Sam's original colors and I just kind of switched them around a little bit. I added her uh, like Matrix leather jacket. I took the purple circle off of her chest, incorporated it into the jacket, and I gave her a Danny Phantom logo because she's on Team Phantom. I figured by now she and Tucker are full-time 
Ghost Fighters, and they are just all on Team Phantom. And I think maybe by this time in their life, the Danny Phantom logo has become a franchise, and so everybody around the world knows it. He's here to fight for me and you. Now it's time for the man himself, Mr. Danny Phantom. It was going to be Danny Phantom and the Spectre Detectors. It was going to be like a Scooby-Doo type of show. And they were going to be Ghostbusters, like with packs on their back and stuff. But then I decided to make him just a superhero and have him have the ghost powers himself, you know? And I was even going to give him like an owl, like a white owl named Spooky. And at the time, Harry Potter movies were just coming out and Nickelodeon said, you can't give him an owl. Harry Potter's got an owl. I was even going to give him a phantom motorcycle to drive around in. And I thought that'd be cool, but he can fly, so he didn't need the motorcycle. So what I did was, uh, later on in the show, I couldn't give Danny a motorcycle, but we gave one of the ghost villains, Johnny 13, a motorcycle. So that's sort of a backstory on Danny Phantom. He ages up and his costume ages up too. I think um, over the years, he's been experimenting with different forms of armor, different forms of jumpsuits, you know. Who knows what's been going on for the last 10 years in the Fenton labs. He's always got the Fenton thermos with him. Like he's got it on his hip now. Instead of just having it randomly being carried, he wears it like on his utility belt. Attempt number one. So this next version of Danny is more like if he was in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I, I looked at some pictures of Captain America and uh, just some other characters like Ant-Man and things like that and just trying to update his costume a little more. He's 10 years older, he's got a 10 year older body, he's like 25 years old, but he's really in shape because he fights ghosts all the time. And so this is more of an armor version of Danny kind of getting more into an updated sort of uh, uh, sleek sort of look. I wanted to incorporate elements of dark Danny in here. Now, not that this Danny is a bad guy, but I do want to age him up, and I thought some of his ghosty traits would kind of maybe, uh, he would enhance them a little bit. He kind of is embracing his ghost side a little bit, so he'd may maybe make his hair a little longer and have it flow. You know, even giving him a cape. This belt I'm adding is a belt I'm borrowing from one of my very first original concept drawings of Danny Phantom from years and years ago. An homage to that old drawing. Here's an iPad Pro sketch incorporating all the elements that I uh, just showed you. And I also thought it was really cool to add some uh, of his dark Danny-ness with his hair. It really was bugging me, uh, the Fenton Thermos. Uh, you know, to catch ghosts with. I've always loved the Fenton Thermos because he has to obviously catch the ghost, but it's always been kind of cumbersome and he kind of has to hold it in his hand. So a friend of mine said, hey, why don't you just build it into his glove? Build the thermos into his glove or the technology into his glove. So Danny's going to have a Fenton glove to actually power his suit. Whenever he sucks up a ghost, he gets power from that ghost, which continues to power his suit so he can catch more ghosts. So you can see the power coursing through his suit, through the D and through the belt and even through the boots and the gloves. I think that's really a cool idea. And uh, who knows, you might just see that actually animated someday. Okay, everybody, thanks so much for watching this week. I really hope you enjoyed that. Do me a favor, leave a comment down below and let me know which version of which Danny Phantom character you like the best. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to follow me on every form of social media known to man. All my links are down below. And as always, don't forget to download and enjoy the new network. All original cartoons, programming, and everything. You can find it on the App Store. You will love it. Trust me. Thanks again.